Hello, third grade students. Tonight's homework is about present and past tense verbs. Let's review. We've talked a little bit about this in class. Present tense verbs. They usually end in an S for singular subjects. Subjects that are just singular, meaning there's only one of them, or they don't have any special ending if there's more than one. They happen now in the present. So that's how you can remember present tense verbs. An example is an illustrator creates pictures. He did not create them. He did not do it in the past. He did it now. He creates them now. An illustrator is a singular subject. There's only one illustrator. He that way creates has an S on the end of it. <clears throat> Illustrators create pictures. Create is happening now. They didn't create it in the past. It's currently happening. It. Illustrators, there's more than one, happens now, which means there's no S on create. Past tense verbs are a little different. They usually end with ed, so id. They happen in the past. Why they're past tense verbs. An example is an illustrator created pictures yesterday. He didn't create them today. He's not creating them now. He created pictures yesterday in the past. Here are some interactive questions that we're going to do together. Here's how it works. Questions comes up, you think about the answer, I'll give you a moment, then you say the answer out loud. I'll reveal the answer to you. If you need more time, you just pause the video. All right, are you ready? Get set, you listening? You got your brains working? All right, let's go. The first one, Teddy and Wendy painted pictures for their book. Is that in the present tense or the past tense? If you said past, you are right. It has the ED on the end. Here's the next one. They use bright colors. Yep, that's in the present. The pictures seemed like photos. Yep, it has that ed on the end, so it is past tense. Their mother helped them. Think about it, is she helping them now or did she do it in the past? Yep, she did it in the past. Two friends bring ideas. Yep, that is in the present. These are your practice questions. You are going to write past or present on your flipped classroom homework sheet. I would suggest that you pause the video by clicking the center to pause it. That way you can look at the questions and answer them without the video stopping. I hope you enjoyed our first flipped classroom and I hope that all your technology worked out for you and I will see you in class tomorrow.